normal distributions finding z values i will explain how the z table can be used to determine the z value for a given probability let me illustrate this with a few examples by understanding these examples you will be able to find z values for any given probability example 1 this is the standard normal density curve the area from the left corner is given as 0.2033 The next step is to determine the corresponding z value. First, we need to check if we can use the z table directly to our case. Can we? Yes. Why? We have the area from the left corner, and also the z table gives the area from the left corner. Therefore, we can use the table directly. Here. the area is 0.2033 so we need to find the number 0.2033 in the middle of the table yes we have that number then find the corresponding z value that is negative 0.83 therefore corresponding z value is negative 0.83 go to the example 2 What is the z score that corresponds to the 70th percentile? The notation is p70. Yes, this is the standard normal density curve. Then what is the 70th percentile? We can show you like this. Here, area from the left corner is 70 percent. Again. For the percentiles, you always consider the area from the left corner, right? Now, uh, we need to find this z value, that is the p seventy, right? How do we do that? Can we use the table directly for this? Yes. Why? We have the uh, area from the left corner, and also the z table gives us the area. from the left corner right therefore we can use the z table directly so we need to check the number 0.7000 can we find it no we cannot find exact number 0.7000 but we can find the closest one there are two number one is less than 0.7 and other one is greater than 0.7 So which one is the closest number? Here, point six nine eight five is the closest number to the point seven zero zero. Now find the corresponding z value for this number. That is point five two. Therefore, seventieth percentile is point five two. That means p seventy is point five two. Now let me go to the next example. Here we have the area from the right corner, and need to find this z. Again, can we use the z table directly for this case? No, we cannot. Why? Because the z table gives the area from the left corner, but our case the area from the right corner. Therefore, we need to find the area from the left corner. It is point eight zero. How do we calculate this? We know the entire area is one, and the uh, right area is point two. Therefore, one minus point two is point eight. Now we can use the table for the point eight zero zero zero. Yes, how do we find it? Can we find the point eight zero zero zero? No, but one number less than and one number greater than. So point eight zero zero. Uh, must be in between these two numbers so what is the closest number that is 0.7995 then find the corresponding z value that is uh, 0.84 therefore the z value for this case is 0.84